Oh, yeah, yeah. Jessica Rabbit. That is the worst possible if answer. If by worst possible answer you mean yeah. best possible answer, then yeah, it is. That's not what I mean, like, yeah. at all. Jessica yeah. Rabbit's a cliche. Yeah, a cliche with huge oh. tits. Everyone picks her. Yeah, because she has huge tits. No. Breasts aren't everything. Call it sexual envy. Mm. And by the way, picking some a ridiculously attractive cliche is still way better than picking an abstract anime character that no one's ever heard of. Sailor Mercury's a goddamn goddess! So, did we pick a board game yet? No, not yet. Marla and I are having a heated debate about who the most attractive cartoon character is. Vegeta. Nala. What the hell? I'd pick Nala. The lion? Yeah, when she leans her head back, you know, and like gives him like that look, like... Yeah, but she's a lion. And then don't judge who I'm attracted Dan. to. Dan! Don't worry about it. Bridget is made of hardened annealed glass. It'd take a trip to break her. Did you name your bong after your ex? Maybe. It's kind of sad, man. So, do you think that they'll be done soon? You ready for another round, baby? Mm hmm. Wait, wait, wait. You have another condom, right? Well, don't worry about that. Everybody knows you can't get pregnant off the fourth round. <laughs> <laughs> So, what game are we gonna play? Clue. Ah! What's wrong with Clue? If we're playing that shit, I'm gonna go feed Bridget. Why don't you guys wanna play Clue? Did you have that on your lap the whole time? Guys, we're gonna play Clue if you want to join. Me. Thank you. We can play a different game. Was anybody else supposed to be coming tonight? I don't think so. It's probably just like Dad falling out the window or something. <laughs> Should we answer it? No, we don't know who it is. Come on. that weird sea captain from the gas station. Yeah, we know. We were all there. I told you not to come to this house. I warned you. But yet here you are. And now, it's too late. He's already arrived. Who's arrived? A very bad man. No, not a man. Abomination! Some call him Blood Face. He took someone from me. Someone 
very dear. He's a sick, sick, heartless bastard. But finally, only 20 minutes ago, I found his weakness. Somewhere on a piece of paper in this pocket. And I give it to you in hopes that you... was something about the way that he looked at me. It was like electricity or nerves or something. I don't know. I don't know what it was that night, but I remember thinking to myself, you know, this girl is special. I never met anyone so vibrant or so beautiful. It was pretty clear right then that there was, there was just no way I could murder her. The first few weeks of dating were a little awkward, but as soon as we learned to speak each other's languages, you know, like how we communicate with each other, then things were fantastic. Things I love about Shelly. Well, she's very caring, she's very kind. I think that's a good fit for me. Honestly, I've never met any girl who was so full of life before. What I love most about Bloodface is that he's really strong, and he's surprisingly sweet, and he's really funny. He's got this like 
morbid sense of humor, and it's really taught me to find the comedy in things that you wouldn't always find funny. Things have been getting pretty serious between Bloodface and I, um, so I decided it was time to introduce him to my family and my friends. Oh God, was I nervous. Friends was easy since they're all dead, except for Billy. He survived. We've had a falling out. This is fucking ridiculous. Family, however, was easier. Because I knew they loved Bloodface just as much as I do. My favorite part was um, seeing him play with my niece and nephew. I can definitely see him being a great father one day. After a year, Shelly and I decided to move in together. Which was great, except I knew I had to find some form of income. He works as a city planner now. No, I can't say it's better than my old line of work, but it's definitely different. Much less risk of decapitation, which Shelley loves. One Friday of every month is Wacky Tie Day, so, you know, that's always something to look forward to. I think that the thing that people can take away from our relationship is that you never know. You never know when you're going to find the person that just completes you. And to just be open to any possibility. Well, for me, the lesson was just to understand love. I'd see all these young kids in love. Something I'd never experienced. And that was a major reason why I butchered them. But now, I get it. I knew I was in love with him from the moment my eyes met his eyes. He's my Prince Charming. Those little moments on the couch or waking up beside her, that's... that's what it's all about. She made me feel... human again. to go. It's not you. Any girl would be lucky to have you. And no one's gonna treat me like you. But I haven't been happy. I'm 24. I have to do some things on my own. I do love you.